we heard there is significant capital needed um, to build the necessary infrastructure um, in, in waste management and plastic recycling. Um, we have two funds, as you mentioned, uh, focusing on South and Southeast Asia, um, funded by corporates in, uh, in, in collaboration with uh, the United States, DFC and USAID under a um, blended finance mechanism to really build infrastructure in South and Southeast Asia in collecting material waste and bring it back to the circular economy, uh, use plastics to recycle and therefore bring it back into, into new materials. Um, I mean, plastic in itself has tremendous value, which in the past we have not seen and therefore just dumped it or burned it. But with, within a circular economy concept, you can actually reuse it and recycle it. So we have made seven investments to date. Uh, we started in 2019 uh, with $106 million raised and deployed more than $40 million uh, a, a big chunk of that money went into India and uh, Southeast Asia is also our focus area where we're now um, deploying or we'll start deploying a significant amount of capital as well. Uh, how significant is the plastics problem when it comes to this part of the world, Southeast Asia and also India as well? Yeah, I mean, globally, um, there are about 150 million tons of plastic in the ocean, right? And, and, and we actually contribute about 8 to 11 million tons in addition every year. And that means, just to put it into perspective, it's about one to one and a half garbage trucks every minute which dumps its plastic into the ocean. But 60% of the plastic leakage is actually happening in Asia. So if we start actually uh, switching off the tap, right, um, then, and, and bring in the necessary capital um, to build that infrastructure, then we can really significantly reduce greenhouse gas emission. Because often what is forgotten is that plastic is, is a part of, of, of uh, the global warming and, and, and climate change. And overall, if we don't tackle the problem, um, by 2040, approximately 20% of the global carbon footprint is contributed by plastic, which is not properly handled. So it is significant. And, um, and so in numbers also, you can really say, if we tackle the infrastructure problem in South and Southeast Asia and bring in the billions needed to build that infrastructure, we can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions.